Hey everyone, this is a video I've wanted to do for a while, talking about these weird French Power Rangers magazines. Uh, Power Rangers was really big in France, and the interesting thing was that Sentai was also big in France a few years before Power Rangers. Uh, when Power Rangers came out in France, it was promoted as being another Sentai series, basically. Although this time it was going to be an American Sentai series, which it uh, kinda was, but whatever, anyway. Uh, I'm wondering if that had anything to do with these magazines being geared to, like, a slightly older demographic than, uh, other Power Ranger magazines like you'd see in the U.S. So, anyway, here's the first one that I have here, number three. So, this is the earliest, I'm guessing, that I could get. We get little comic book images of the Rangers there. There's apparently a, a manga section, or manga anime section. Yeah, that's a weird thing that was also in the American Power Ranger magazines that I could find. That they didn't exclusively cover Power Rangers, even though that's the name of the magazine. Yeah, they would just have, like, random coverage of other things. Like, uh, alright. So anyway, in the front here is, a uh, Power Ranger... Whatever that says. Pushe? Uh, no idea what it is. Like, maybe it's, like, a 100 pages... Solemn... Sulamit? I have no idea what this is. Then we get some stock art there, table of contents, anime stuff again. Like, I don't know, maybe the anime, they thought that it would appeal to a similar demographic or something. So anyway, we get pictures of some of the toys. Got a behind-the-scenes picture, promo image there, some more toys, and... I don't read French, so I have no idea what, what's going on. But anyway, we get a little bio of Trini, or a uh, big bio of Trini, which unfortunately I can't read. So tell you what, uh, I'm holding my camera pretty steady now, so if anyone wants to pause that and translate it and tell me what it says, uh, feel free. And here's a cool image I don't remember ever seeing before of a trainee with this video camera. Also, I noticed she has a brace on her one leg. I'm wondering if this is when uh, she had hurt her leg and she couldn't do a lot of her own stunts in the show. So now we get another little thing here, if you want to pause that and read that all. If, does anybody in my audience uh, read French? Because I, I don't know any French. Oh, and then we even get a thing about Twee Trang the actor. That is really cool. It gives her birth date, a little history. I can read a teensy bit. <laughs> but yeah, that's really cool, something that we didn't get in such detail over here. And now this is the especially strange thing, is the comic adaptations of episodes. So right here we have an adaptation of a pressing engagement, but in French, and also as a comic book. It sticks really close. <laughs> Wipe out. And then uh, we get Rita watching the Rangers, and King Sphinx is apparently up there with them in this, uh, version. Or... Oh, okay, so he's... He, I don't know what's going on. I guess a, a flashback or something, whatever. Anyway, Jason talking with Zack about the uh, bench press record. Then Bulk comes over and, uh, berates him for not being able to beat his record, which is very strange, and I'm surprised that they would actually adapt this very not very good episode into a comic. But yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Like, if you've seen the episode, this is scene for scene, word for word, except in French. Basically, it's the entire episode. And then we get a little break here where it talks about the video game. And then back to the comic. We even got the Zord formation scene. The artwork is amazing, like, it's way better than what was going on over here with Hamilton and Marvel. I kinda wonder why that nobody picked up this comic and just translated it into English, cause... Seriously, I, this is... good. Like, the episode is bad, but, uh, whatever. And anyway, here's, a uh, Manga Mania. We have, uh, coverage of... whatever anime manga this is. Like, I don't know, I guess mangas were taken off in France. Oh, hey, I... I recognize her. Uh, not really anybody else. Oh, Gon, I know him. 
Is that supposed to be Sailor Moon up there? I think they mixed up her colors a little bit. Uh, Alright then. And then we got a thing about the Triceratops Zord. And then we... Is that a picture from Jew Ranger? Looks like a picture from Jew Ranger. Then there's like a little... Uh, oh, qu question Zord. Okay. And we got a letters page. And there's even fan art. That is cool. Oh, and there's Zed with his... Uh, duct tape staff there. Then here's a subscription information so you can order more. Commercial for arcade cabinet and uh, the page master which in France was apparently just called Richard. Then there's a big image of um, turban shell there. Then on the back there's a preview for the next issue. Here it is. This one came in a little bag. With a bunch of French text on it. I don't know what it, what any of that means. But this is the very first French Power Ranger magazine that I found. And this really inspired my desire to find more of these French Power Ranger magazines. Because this was very strange. Also, interestingly, King Sphinx is on the cover. But his comic, like, his episode was adapted into this one. So why is he on the cover to this one? I don't know. I think they sometimes would pick the covers at random because his episode isn't the one in here. And that's when it starts a weird thing in these French magazines where they'd have, like, kids photoshopped into, like, promo images. I don't get it. Also, there's Chun-Li. Oh, uh, appropriate, because she does have a Power Ranger toy now. It only took 30 years. So then we got a thing about the weapons. Uh, thing about Kimberly. That image from the pilot. Uh, Kimberly stuff. And then we get the episode, um... Different Drum, I think. What's the name of this one? And yeah, it's fascinating. It's just straight up the episode. And they do a decent job of, like, replicating the episode. Like, all the same beats are there. And even if you've never seen the episode, the action all, like, it plays smoothly, like, it feels natural, like a real comic. It doesn't, uh, like, rely on you having seen the actual episode often. Oh, and they even keep this, uh, net thing that falls down over the cave. Oh, and then there's a big... Uh, Lord Z. Yeah, not Zed, it's just Z over there. Though some places do pronounce uh, the letter Z as Zed, so maybe they just didn't feel the need to have his full name be there. Anyway, uh, Zords. Oh, and they keep this weird thing where he turns into a building. That might uh, be a little confusing to people. <laughs> oh, and smacks him in the back of the head there. Wait, what was that? Swatch! Swat! And then, um... Okay, I guess he kills him. <laughs> then everybody's having fun at the juice bar. Billy knows how to dance. Then we get a little thing about, um... Whatever this guy's name was. Can't remember what his name was. I'm sure it says some somewhere there, whatever. Moving on. Squat, Mastodon, and then we got a thing about Street Fighter. I guess the Street Fighter uh, anime movie, the live action movie there. Sure, why not? Oh, and then there's a Street Fighter manga, apparently. That they dedicate several pages to. There's a Bloom of Doom there, and... Uh, oh, okay, this is uh, the letters page. Le Courier de Alpha 5. So I guess it's Alpha answering letters. Does he answer them, like, uh, in character, I'm wondering? Yeah, RoboGoat. Okay, oh, and another Lord Z there. So then, um, I don't have all of these. I only have, like, a few. I, there's n no way I could find every issue, especially not living in France. 
So, um, this one, we skip ahead to number six, and apparently the White Ranger was introduced in the show. And also Nasty Knight is there, because... Like, I don't know, maybe they were getting these episodes, like, extremely quickly or something, or... Or, I don't know. So anyway, there's the kids photoshopped into images. Those are pretty funny. <laughs> I love this one, the kid punching Zed in the face. And then we get a thing about uh, Le Ranger Blanc. And then here is the uh, comic, Masquerade. So I'm assuming it's going to be uh, Life's a Masquerade. Also, interestingly, the costumes. Let's see, somebody with black hair is dressed up as Raphael. Oh, somebody there is... Okay, is that Bulk and Skull? Hmm. It's a cool costume, I guess. <laughs> so what's this guy in the back dressed as? Red nose, black Mickey Mouse thing? No idea. Uh, hmm. Okay, this is, definitely isn't a... St uh, whoa, what's going on here? There's two Ritas. Okay, it's definitely not a straight adaptation of any episode, because I'm sure I would have remembered whatever's going on here. Is that the tarantula monster? What's up with his face? What's wrong with your face? Oh, what, what the heck's going on here? Rita just punched a putty? Why? Oh, also, I gotta love this. There's Raphael dancing. The big cartoon eyes actually look around. Um... Toof, 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 toof. Whatever that says. Oh, anyway, this is what inspired me to uh, get this particular issue, was I saw this one image of Billy with Raphael there, and uh, Zach as uh, Michael Jackson, I guess? Or, or maybe Prince in a uh, more subdued outfit than usual. Uh... I am completely lost, I have no idea. The other comics, because they followed the episodes so closely, I could actually, like, follow along, despite not speaking French or reading French. Who the heck is- whoa, what, huh? Okay, Kimberly takes her helmet off, and she's got, like, gray hair, a crazy Cruella de Vil face. She has a shirt that just says bad. She stole one of Vegeta's shirts. And then there's the tarantula monster with the weird face grabbing Trini and Zordon. Zordon actually looks okay. I hate when they draw him with ears. I always hate that. Oh, and here is... I think that's supposed to be the beetle monster, though it's a... The head's definitely off-color, or like off-model, but the body's colors are right. Oh, whoa, Alpha Shrank? I... Whoa... Like, this is a trip. You can see why I really wanted to talk about these, because these are bizarre. Oh, a uh, poster of Kimberly. Yay. Blonde hair, Kimberly. That's weird. And then back to the comic, uh, we got some little kids doing something. Rita is blonde. Is Rita Kimberly? What? What's going on here? I have... I don't know what's going on. Even if I could, I get the feeling that even if I could read French fluently, I still would have very little idea what's going on. And then, uh, oh, she punches Babu. That is freaking hilarious. Oh, sock. <laughs> she socks Babu, and look at Babu's face, just, ugh. This reminds me of that uh, Punisher panel where he punches a polar bear. Oh, and then look at this. Kimberly's like, Gucci Goo, baby alpha, <laughs> little baby alpha. And then he grows bigger, and then they're back at the costume party. Trini's a furry. She's in her marmoset suit. <laughs> Billy is Raphael. Uh, oh, and I guess that's the end of it. So anyway, there's alpha. Alpha falling over other alphas. Um, oh, another arcade cabinet. What is that? Soccer superstars. Oh, yeah, yep, definitely Europe. And then, uh, Richard, page master. Then we get a thing about Babu. Uh-huh. 
I'm gonna assume that's okay in France. <laughs> Don't cancel France. Um, the Grand Film Day Power Rangers. Okay, so get some stock art of the, stock stuff of the movie. Le Chevalier Noir. Oh, so he's just called uh, the Black Knight. Or oh wait, no, Chevalier means I I don't remember what it means. I guess it sounds cool in French. Judge Dread. Not the first time that I've seen Judge Dread promoted in a Power Ranger thing, surprisingly. Oh, we got fan art. So cool. Love it. And there's a uh, chunky chicken. Okay, next up we get an issue all about the movie. And there's also a special that was made for the movie, separate from, like, the main series of the magazines. So here we got those weird Photoshop thing. Here's a kid threatening Perantis' head. Someone just posing with the Rangers. A kid kicking a putty. That one actually turned out pretty good, except for the massive shadows behind the kid. So anyway, we've got some behind-the-scenes of the movie here. Got this cool image of Ivan Ooze there I don't see often. Bunch of uh, information about the movie. The movie. And here we got the comic, which is... Let's see. Rita Pauly... Whatever that says. Um, doesn't appear to be based on any particular episode, but... I don't know. Okay, so there's Grumblebee. I don't remember him attacking uh, Kimberly... Hank, like, sky something, skiing, whatever she's doing, and then Grumblebee turns looking a lot more like Buzz Off from Masters of the Universe, and Slippery Shark is there. Huh? Okay, so I guess at this point, they were just doing their own stories at, whoa, and he grew. <laughs> okay, I guess they were just doing their own stories at this point in the magazine. You know, I would love to see these translated and released over here. Bad, oh, get it? Because good year blimp. This is the bad year blimp. Oh, and there's a little thing that says, Rita Salit Sans Blue. Whatever that means. No idea. I don't read French. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, motorcycles. Not the, uh, like the dino cycles. Or whatever they were supposed to be called. Um, whoa, what happened to Babu? <laughs> uh, alright. Stuff about Goldar. Okay, so maybe that whole beach thing, they saw the beginning of this episode where they're at a beach, and they just didn't see the rest of it, and they went off from there. Oh, and there's uh, the motorcycle, which is not the same motorcycle from that story. Page Master commercial again. Uh, okay, and what is this thing? Is this, like, just a story? Oh, okay, so, I I don't know, maybe it's just another bio thing? Oh, and then I think about Walter, jo Judge Dredd again. Then back to, uh, the comic. Oh, we got Lord Zed now. Uh, Rita and Finster. Titanus. Uh, an octopus. <laughs> Oh, what is going on here? Oh, okay, so it's the Ultra Zord. This is... Oh, and Rita punches something again. I'm not sure what exactly she punched. Oh, is that her telescope? She punched her telescope? On Soul Day. What? Then everybody's back on the beach. Power Rangers. Oh, and we get more fan art. Fan art of Alpha. I love that Alpha. That's awesome. And then, whatever in the world this is. Earworm? Okay. And then Pogs. Remember Pogs? They're back. At Burger King. And in French. The Restaurant du Whopper. <laughs> and there's Slippery Shark and uh, King Sphinx there on the back. Yeah, these are nuts. 
I think I'm going to split this into a couple of videos because I want to go through each of these because these are priceless. I freaking love these French Power Ranger magazines. And we haven't even gotten to the weirdest comic. One of these has an especially strange comic and a whole bunch of really weird fan art. I can't wait to show it to you. So, yeah, uh, next Saturday, I guess, is when I'll be uploading the next video of this. So, look forward to that. Hope you enjoyed this one. See ya.